What is up, community of M15? This is Marsic15, and yes, it is time. Welcome back to Dial Town. Now, I might have to speak a little quieter because, um, <laughs> well, it is a weekday. It's a work day, so, of course, you know, parents are working, and um, one of their offices is literally right next to my room. So, yeah. But anyway, welcome back to Dial Town. Now, apparently, there was an update. Uh, that I saw that uh, as a new place we can look at the bar. Um, apparently, you can go there before completing the route, or before finding something to take you to the fair, and talk to those uh, four new people. So let's see if we can load this before. If you didn't see it last episode, um, we completed this demo route here with the phone. If you guys want to go look at that? It's 50 minutes. It was so long. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely before uh, that happened. So, I know there was a place we didn't look at in um, Uptown, Downtown. I forget what it was, but there was a place I was going to look at, but didn't because the whole thing with the theater happened. Um, maybe it's leave. Yeah, here we go. Um... See, what was it again? Oh, yeah, it was the phone shop, right? Yeah. So, perhaps the bar is in downtown, but this is something we didn't look at before. The phone, the phone shop was something we didn't look at before. But we are looking at that now. Why'd you wander in here, Marcy 15? A phone shop of full places? I doubt they do repairs for people with stitched together flesh heads, you know, if that's what you're looking for. I mean, forget the flesh thing. I doubt there's any repairing whatever is up with you as of late. Just dot dot dot. Something wrong, Rosa 15? The, the, the phone. S someone. Somebody answered the goddamn phone! <laughs> hold your horses, there, lady. Hold your horses. Okay, well, again, uh, can't be as, I guess, enthusiastic. Or not as enthusiastic, but as noisy. So, yeah, I can't help it. Sorry, I, I don't have soundproofing on my walls at all. Uh, so yeah, hold your horses, sweetie. Hold your horses. Ugh, you're green. What's up? What do you, what do you, what do you haul in there for a hun? Where am I? Is, is this heaven? <laughs> no, wait, this place is too drab for that. The river STYX, perhaps. I don't know what that, how to say that in words. Oh, I guess because of all the phone cases. Those, those ain't skulls, son. They're just empty cases. Also, she, Gabby here has a um, typewriter, I think. Yeah, that, that was like a typewriter of some sort. I don't understand. Do you want to understand? Uh, well, yeah, what is this place? Can you just give me a brief summary? Or no, I thrive in Ingrid's Let Me Be. Um, yeah, well, yeah, what is this place? Come on, we, we should get we're closer for info. We're standing in the downtown phone store. Shops near a hundred yards old, hundred years old now. Set up by my father, God rest his soul. Shop initially sold whole telephones, but with them being so common nowadays, well, we've adapted to fit the current Mac market. Yeah, that's good. You need to adapt to survive. Not every purchase has to break the bank, you know. A hunt piece is held just as good as one complete phone, I find. Same thing goes for the most aspects of life, I also find. Now, if you want to know something specific, something specific, I'm sure I can oblige. Um, fine, thanks, Sia. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Tell me about yourself. How is this place still in business? What kinds of customers do you normally get in here? Let's jump to the bottom. All sorts. Healthcare ain't exactly the most affordable, and nine times out of ten, it's something small in the head. A rusted piece, shot transmitter, et, et cetera, et, oh, et cetera, <laughs> I'm sorry, et cetera, et cetera, that has to be et cetera. So most people don't want, or rather can't, afford to go to a dock over airy small malfunction. Uh, well, yeah, the band-aids are a thing. So that's where I come in, or rather my shop and my purse. With a level head, all it takes is a steady hand and instructions course to replace the dysfunctional part. Okay. Course to each his own. 
I still say people should see a doc for bigger issues if possible. Well, yeah. Anyway, that's how things have been for most of my life, but as of recently, different parts sell. Okay, oh, okay, this is new. What kinds of parts sell now? Cosmetics. I see a lot of youngings coming here from time to time looking for whatever pieces I don't need. Ah! Slap them on their heads and bang, you've got a hybrid head. Why? It's just them expressing themselves. The breaking down of old societal rules, old concepts. See, funny thing is, society seems to be changing with new people coming in and old people leaving. Back in my day, you were what other city was, and now is that. Really? Were things simpler back, simpler back then? Things were cleaner, I guess you could say. You knew your rule. But clean ain't perfect. Well, of course it can't be perfect. Just meant folks were suffering out of earshot. It's to take a beautiful photo when the trash is shoved out of frame, ain't it? Now, folks are speaking up for themselves, and people miss the simple times. Yeah, um, okay. But times were never simple for those folk, and change is never pretty. Well, no, no one likes change. Okay, that's not true, but... Uh, anyway, well, what do you think? I think people should just take what they're given. Lie. I think people should seek happiness. Okay, that's the truth. I don't want to lie. Here, here. I've always thought the idea of someone living as something they're not was ridiculous, given we have the technology to change ourselves. I think I'm speaking too quick. I should probably slow down. Humans are just incomplete masterpieces, if we could be called such things, but you have phones, printers, and typewriters for heads. And art isn't finished, it's abandoned. Don't ever give up on yourself. We can all change. That is true. That is very true. Okay. Um... How is this place still in business? Selling telephones seems a bit like selling air since, you know, half of all people have telephones built onto their shoulders. Well, like I said when you first came in, I sell move phones. Don't you worry. Just piece by piece. Just gotta know how to adapt. Um, tell me about yourself. You wanna know about me? Oh, well, I'm not all that interesting. Just been alive long enough to hear a few interesting notions, meet a few interesting people. I am old if your eyes ain't doing so hot. Sorry, optical sensors, however they're called now. How do you even how do you guys even see through these things? The way I see it, if you see if you see with M their eyes. Even though there's no physical eyes. Don't matter if your head's a phone, typewriter, or whatever or whatever else have ya. Anyway, my story ain't much to tell. In life, if life was a story, I'm sure I'd be one of those bit characters, you know, the sort. No, not really. Just sitting around in the same place all day waiting to be found so I could share information all about our funny little world. Okay. My father probably would have been a better person to talk to, you know. He set up shop here. If he uh, shakes after the telegram went the way of the dodo. Oh, yeah. Uh, obsolete, yeah. Would you believe my pop sold Callum Crown his first phone back in 42? Wow. We've been in downtown for a long time. Our line. In a way, I like to think that we're a part of history, even if only just... Okay, even if only just, uh, who's Callum Crown? Oh, you know. I don't, no. The inventor, man who built the very first phone head. Is that a parody of someone in real life? Fella became mayor of this ear town, then prizy of this ear country. Of course, this was all just before the worldwide dial-up, mind you. Worldwide dial-up. You mean the internet? <laughs> if it wasn't for him, we still have our own fleshy heads and there would be nothing like how it is now. As you wonder, I just thought, is there a lore uh, in this? So, wait, so wait, you were alive before the worldwide dial-up? Yeah, when I was a little girl, 
whole world had flesh heads. Oh, backstory. No phones, typewriters. I mean, we had phones and typewriters around in our homes and businesses, sure, of course. Just not mounted to our shoulders. That was considered weird, even today. It, in real life, it would be, um, so were animals different too? Would, 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 would I be considered normal with my flesh on head? Uh, so animals were different too? Sure, they had flesh heads too, all of them. Then what happened? No one had a mechanical head back then, human or otherwise. But then what happened? Huh. Neat. Well, what happened uh, after that? Sorry, if you got another question, I'll ear it. Um. Okay, wow. Uh, do you know Callum personally? Most of the old town did. Then, when I was a girl, couldn't avoid the fella when he was campaigning for mayor and then president. Oh, wow. Something about him was infectious. Ooh. He knew what he wanted and he had a vision, a dream. Fellows like him, it don't matter what they do or where they go. They just attract power. Oh no. Uh oh. That sounds bad. Sometimes that ain't best for everyone though, and that's the last I'll say on the subject. Yeah. <coughs> okay, well. I'll find things see ya. Alright, take care now, you hear? Okay, okay, she was like the first person who didn't even mention the fact that we're green. Like, that's the first. So for everyone else we've seen, positive or negative. You see negative, is said point out the fact that we're green. So, yeah. Okay, so I can clearly see that the, um, bar isn't here, so perhaps it's in downtown Daltown. And I did make sure to update this game uh, to the latest version, so... Here we go. Let's see if it's here. Let's see. We know it's on a nearby phone. What? Maybe those will make a pop up. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I know we've done that. We did that. We did that. There's the new place. Load the casino to this casino slash plush bar. I'm actually old enough uh, to actually go to a casino in real life. Okay, okay. I've got it. Hear me out. Hear me out. Uh huh. Okay, so, you know how camping is always a wise idea? That's naive. Hmm, my idea is basically that I should gamble. I don't know if that's such a good idea. What? Why on God's green earth not? Well, firstly, the idea of gambling is that you put money in ladies lacks a gambling pot and either win double, which you put or you get nothing. That sounds fun, I like the risks. Considering you often eat roadkill, fresh off the ground, yeah, trust me, I know. Well, what does that have to do with risk? So, what's the big deal? Well, firstly, to take a financial risk, you have you need to have starting capital. You know, unless you're like a bank, or a sketchy construction such real estate company. I mean, I'm around you that you're penniless? Ah, shit, this sucks. This sucks! This America, it's my God-given right to gamble. God-given? I'm, I'm at least 60% sure that the holy... Ringo Bull has risen against such shut. Ah, rats. Do all fun things require money? I'm afraid so, yes. Literally without exception. What about devour devouring gravel? That's free. Only because you refuse to pay for the gravel. <laughs> you know that most construction sites in the city have a photo of your mug plastered on every notice board on the site along with a shoot on site notice, right? Ah, shit. So what are my options? Well, right now, you're... Dirt Po, which is already the typical endpoint of gambling. So really, you've just you, you've just cut out the middleman, who in this case is a blackjack dealer in a bow tie who smells like whiskey and vomit. Huh? What do most people do at this point? Go through a lengthy divorce and drink heavily, typically. Right then, to the bar I go. Well, let's go into the bar. They're probably gonna point out the fact that we're green. Oh man, look at them. Ah, welcome to the lock and whiskey, sir. This guy looks cool. I like his uh, clothes. And the, um, oh, what's it called? I forget what these are called here. The bands on the side. My name is Pierre. El Pierre Barma tonight. We don't serve herbals. That means you got Tee Your name is the same as the wooden dogs canoes park at... Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, like... Like, Pierre? Is that it? Like, Pierre. Okay. Say, what can I do for your partner? 
He didn't mention the fact that we're, um, let's see, um, I'm satisfied, see you later, uh, Pierre. C can you take me to the f fun fair, please? Um, my Mr. Barman sent me drink. Tell me about your job. Tell me more about this place. Tell me more about this place. Oh, if you're looking to more to learn more about this building, you've come to the right place. So basically, this whole place is a front for the downtown mob. Wait, what? Yeah. The casino was originally set up by the mob to launder money, or so I believe. Since all the gang had to do was blow all the money on stupid bets, it seemed foolproof, you know? But of course, they managed to fuck even that up, and kept winning their money back somehow. Which was far from inconspicuous, I can assure you. So many members just keep leaving because they kept winning back more than enough to retire on. Excuse me, jeez, uh-huh. What, then? I mean, well, we also read the games too, just to make up for the losses. Oh, like the slot, slot machines? This went for all, all of a day, and soon we had the Dowtown Casino Regulatory Commission on our collective asses. Oh, and with them came the mayor. Let me tell you, my green pal, she is not someone you want to anger. Yeah? Oh, trust me, I know a thing or two about people when they're mad. My own parents. Uh, terribly catty women if you catch my drift. Not really. Long story short, the mayor forced us to register the mob as a limited liability company as we pay taxes. And we pay taxes now? Jeez, that's rough. Yeah, the casino actually functions in a bit of a law at a bit of a loss now. Um combined with the mob's lack of finance at performing their various romps, plots, tricks, and schemes. Oh, and their capers. Can't forget those. Right, yes. Anyway, the bar is really what keeps the whole operation afloat. So, this is also their headquarters? Oh, yeah. They're down in the basement playing cards. Want me to pass a message along? They're not awfully hard to find, are they? Mobs generally aren't, actually. Oh, look, a bunch of elderly Italian American gentlemen in suits eating La Senga over at the same table every night and talking about pulling off. It's, I wonder what job these men could do for a living. I mean, plus, you know, someone's got to be the face of the organization because, you know, somebody's got to collect their mail. How does the mob get, does the mob get a lot of mail? Oh, fallen lord, no. Our organization's a colossal failure. Nobody in their right mind would come to us for a job. But you never know. Plus, the mayor needs a public address to send her tax collectors to, you know. Why does she allow you guys to operate in Dialtown at all? It seems like she could obliterate you all in a moment's notice. Well, actually, it's very simple. The mayor sets Dialtown taxes at a low rate compared to towns in the rest of the states, gets brownie points with her citizens for keeping taxes so low. Then gets the mob to rob citizens and taxes the mob at a high rate, allowing her to essentially collect twice on the same schmucks paychecks, you know? That seems. We're basically like the IRS, but far more squeamish and far less feared. I see. That all sounds kind of. kind of evil. What. what does she use the extra money for? Her own gain? Is that. that's my guess. I think she puts it back into paving roads or maybe education? Fungon knows we sure need more of that here. Bullshit to quote Alfred Einstein. What? I've never let me education get in the way of my casual drug use. And that doesn't sound quite right. Yeah, it, it doesn't. I don't know the phrase off by heart. I'm slightly high right now. But we haven't drank it. I see, I see. Anywho, that was all very corrupt. Thank you for your time. Yeah, corruption is not really a surprise. Don't mention it, sir. You need anything else then? Um, last one's great. Now, tell me about your job. Well, I'm basically working two jobs: full-time barman and part-time therapist. Those are two very different jobs. Oh no, they're essentially the very same job. No, they're not. You see, drunk drunkards come in here asking for booze, so I get them all liquored up, and they start overspilling. 
First about their awful lives, then spilling whiskey on themselves, which promptly ends their night. Oof. Yeah, at the moment, I'm studying to get certified by the Downtown Psychology Association since, you know, given loud, given loud therapy is half my job. Anyway, might as well get paid for it too, you know? Therapy is for suckers, trauma is for babies. Um, can, can it give me therapy? Do we need it? Can I? Okay, come on, that's my joke response. Sure, I don't see why not. Nice group with But the question is, will I? Will you? I swear that's like a joke I made several times where if someone asks me something then I'm like like if they say, Oh, can I have this? And I'm just like, I don't know, can you? Sure again, don't see why not. But will I? Okay, let's start at the beginning. What's your first memory? Hatch. Huh. Alright, that'll do it. Tell me, what was your mother like? Egg. <laughs> Right, but surely someone must have laid the egg, right? Uh, yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, I'm about to lay some eggs. Oh, good lord. Was it me? Did I lay the egg? I don't think so. Right, but at this point in your development, you're inside the egg. Uh-huh. So this me in a big egg, and I'm gonna lay tiny eggs. Oh my god, how many layers are there? <laughs> Does this keep going? Is this quantum physics? Moving on from exception. You've made it this far, so surely someone must have helped raise you. Bathe you, feed you, clean up your dirty laundry. Have you ever had, say, a roommate? I guess you could just say that. Bastard, mustached, zoo man. <laughs> I don't feel as though we're getting to the root of your issues. What are my issues? Well, I don't know. You're the one who asked for the therapy. Okay, plan B. Why don't you tell me what you think is wrong? Or is wrong with me or like the world? Whatever you think is most suitable. Dot dot dot. 40 minutes of directions ranting later. <laughs> wow. So then I said to him, uh, I don't care how much of a stake you have in all this alley exchange. I'm not paying a dime for even a drop of this dolphin's semen. Is that a reference to Dage of the Freddy's 2 and... Uh, the good ending when Phone Guy mentioned something about Dolphin Seaman. Is that a reference to that? Uh, I have to stop you right there. Why? Did I just have a breakthrough? Oh no. I just have to stop you. Phone Craze, you're even more screwed up, th up than that dude with all those sick dogs. So what's my diagnosis then? What? You're not a human. Did the green tank give it away? <laughs> and the, uh, um, uh, you should really not be alive. It says who? It says any pathologist who can vouch that eating 14 dead skunks in a week is probably not something that human immune systems can even tolerate. I actually got higher than 14, you know. Um, I think I like to think so too. Hmm. But can therapist diagnose right then? Is that all? Um, Mr. Barman sent sand to me a drink. Pardon? Mr. Sand Bar, drink me some sand. What the f- Do we not know how to speak? Sir. Are you having a stroke? Sand. Okay. I think you've already had enough to drink. Do we even have anything? Funny, since I haven't even served you yet. Sorry, pal. It says here only 19 per customer. Them- Them's the breaks. Understandable. I have other questions, though. Yeah, huh? Okay, that's only one. Okay, let's see. I'm starting to see you later, uh, Pierre. I think it's Pierre. All right, take care now. You here? So how do I feel the other um, people in the bar? Yeah, hang on, hang on. Um, hang on, let me go back. Because I'm pretty sure I will agree to the game. Dogman said there's four new people. Hey, welcome back to the lock and whiskey, sir. What will it be this time? Okay, let's try the second option. Maybe we'll get to see the others. What? Like, right now? Anytime the next 15 seconds would be swell. He's kind of working. Well, I'm kind of penciled into closing time, I'm afraid. 
You know, I understand I am sorry, I'm halfway pregnant, or you could just leave. I'm gonna do the first one. And yet you just happened to wander into a bar. Pierre man, please. <laughs> My guys are swollen with eggs, this is urgent. I just need someone to pay me into the fun fair or else God I could give birth any second. Uh oh. Huh. Yeah, I don't think my marriages would be crazy about that. Okay, okay, I've got an idea. This place happens to do weekly speed dating one room over. You might just find someone desperate enough to take it to the fun of fight there. Um, but I won't stick out like a sore thumb since I'm just looking for someone to use. Speeding is not for losers? Nah, it first. Oh, pal, do you honestly think that anyone in there has pure intentions or is truly looking for love? Mark my words, that room will not contain the best of what Dalaton has to offer. The cream of the crop, you, you shan't find it in there. But, if you find even one degenerate whose selfish whims align even personally with your own, then you've got one way to take it to the egg city. Hmm. What have you got to lose? Aside from my dignity, um... Could be a waste of time. You mean like wandering around the whole city, banking random strangers to leave their jobs and take you to a cheap amusement park? Ooh, oh, you got you there. Um, all right, sweet daytime. Maybe this. All right, then I'll just pencil you in. Follow the signs. Second door on your left, just down the stairs. Oh, and don't forget. If anyone comes on too strong, you've got a budget that rotates who you're talking to. Don't be afraid to use it. Okay. Them? Come on, too strong? Have you forgotten who you're speaking to? Uh, thanks for the heads up, will do. Alright, go get him then, tiger. Okay, this is probably... Hell yeah. I heard speaking dating. Uh, don't worry. Love isn't for everyone. I mean, that is true. Hope I don't suddenly vomit this time because it's true in real life. Not everyone, you know, gets married and stuff. You do, and you should feel bad. I don't let the speed dating segment begin. Oh wow, that's a nice shirt. Salutations, my good sir. It's Craig. I like that. Um, flowers. Did you know I didn't? Ooh, you. I did try yourself. Um, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh my God, that shirt. Don't you just love it? Uh, I. I think I despise it. I hate you. I hate you. I love it. It's like a frog on LSE just vomited to me. I have seen more impressive clothing. Okay. I'll do the second choice. Thank you, good sir. That is precisely what I intended to convey. It actually... Ooh. I'm in Dalaton's various elite circles, convenants, and fellowships. I am known simply as... Craig. Please make your acquaintance. So if you can take me to the fun fair or buzz. Well, I do want to see the new characters. Oh, that was hardly justified. I do want to see all the characters. Alright, this one should have contentious for sure. Oh my god. What on earth is that on your head? That was like a microscope or something. Is that a microscope? Hello, it is I. I am Dr. Zim Othi Bunsen, resident mad scientist and local lunatic PhD. But what is on your head in a microscope? Ah, uh, shit, you're a self-described lunatic? Is what you need to start Dr. Brunson eggs or buzz? Nah, second. I'm sure it is. With what a brilliant mind I have in comparison to your simple one. That's no way to speak to- That's no way to talk if you want to find love. If your mind is so brilliant, how come you're here then? Ooh. Here in the loser pit. Ooh, gosh, caught you red-handed. Why, I think you'll find my green friend. Even the most brilliant of scientists might require funding. Have funding? Why, well, yes. You see, as of late, I've been working on this serum. Ooh, a serum which contains a virus capable of bringing this dreary world's leadership to its very knees. Oh, she's trying to take down? Uh, should you really be carrying that around without a cover on it? If your serum is so powerful, then, then what do you need funding for? Okay, fine. I may have been fived just a tad. The virus isn't really all that deadly. Not just yet. But with funding, it could be. Why? Oh no, he's on. You, you see, just for $10,000, you could be on the ground floor of the galaxy's greatest blackmailing yet. So wait. You came here to ask for money from strangers. 
to fund a super virus which you plan to black the world's governments with? How on earth is that gonna work? Precisely, yes. You see, the virus is still in its infancy, but mark my words, it's getting closer. Can it harm people? No, I don't believe so. Far too friendly of a virus to do any real harm. So is this... Hold on, but if this is supposed to be more of a technological virus, then... Uh, I don't know. The best I've gotten it, it to do is... We structure some thyroid DNA to create a protein production code that spills out Krungus. Because we hasn't killed anything yet? Well, I exposed my cousins picked the virus and became quite sick for about a week or so. We weren't sure if the pig to make it, to be frank. But did it make it? Granted, my cousin prayed quite hard for it, so perhaps Phone God himself intervened. But I was this close, I can assure you. Do you honestly think anyone here has $10,000? Well, do you? Dot dot dot, I'm flat broke. God, this is so stupid. Um, I'm gonna buzz. You dare buzz me away? Yeah. Yeah, I do. What you gonna do? Alright, we'll look through this one. It's either got to be the one. Or else, the one. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at that, um, CRT monitor, I believe. And holding a laptop, too. Howdy, this is, um, Lauren Deere reporting in. Is this a news broadcast person? Reporting in? Are you... No, what did I just say? <laughs> Oh, let me tell you, sir, I'm all about delivering the news, whether the powers that be want me to or not. No matter how it gets out, the truth must be known, you know? Why is there a news broadcaster in this area? It doesn't make sense. Um, I know, yes. Wait, are you selling something? No, no, I'm not selling anything, except for the truth, sir. You're really, you're... You're not really selling that, are you? Nah, I'm just here to avoid my conspiracy site. Oh, great. Conspiracy. Yeah, my site specializes in true stories that the government wants you to think are just conspiracies. Oh, it's one of these people. Mostly deer related ones. Like Earth is Flat, perhaps? The name of the site is Lord D's Deer Lore. Catchy, what's the deal with deer then? Oh my god, alliteration to its max. Well. Dot 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 thinking. Hang on. You think this room is secure? Don't the mob operate here? I'd imagine you can get shot here without the sound leaking out. So I reckon you're good. I swear the government is always trying to silence me. What, Mayor Mingus? Oh, it goes much deeper than that. Is it the actual government up top? FBI, CAA, Big Invention, they all have it in for me. That's actually, okay, that's surprising, uh, but they can't kill me because then the people know something's up. I see. I sound bored. The thing about deer is, they used to have fleshy heads, just like we used to in my Mima's time, but then this fella came along, called him Crown, a man from this here town. Is he still alive? He replaced everyone's heads with different objects. Is he still alive in this, in this, at this time? Phones, typewriters, gramophones, keyboards, all the different kinds of devices for each unique features you know. People have keyboards for heads? That's awesome. Are you implying men and women have different heads by default and aren't different species? That's what the government wants you to believe. Anywho, the story goes that apparently the government was concerned about the amount of deer car collisions that were happening, you know? Car headlights hit the deer, deer freezes up, car hits the frozen deer, that's what this story said happened. So they said, let's give deer headlights for heads to make sure I'm easier to spot. That ought to reduce the number of deer related accidents. Now, that's just dumb, how do you even get that to work? This is backfired of course, like, like all gov government meddling. Yeah. Okay, now every time a deer steps out in front of a car, the deer look at the car in blind strip with its Right ball pad making legends of certainty. Yeah, they didn't think that one through, did they? Me? I know that was no accident. The government was brighted by Big Venson. Who the hell is Big Venson? Or v Venson? Dear me, it's a it's a bitch to tenderize so gamey, so tough. 
So Big Vention got the government to set this all up to offer a tenderizing costs onto us. I don't know. Think about it. We hit the deers with our American cars. We tenderize the meat for them, and they save a fortune. After losing four cars to the hooved menace, I set on my site to get people up to speed on how our country has gone to hell in a handbasket. Oh boy. Are all of your truths about deer? Oh, you think the conspiracy ends with deer? Pal, I know for a fact that the outside happens to be built on a big ol' bead of lead. Lead. The earth here is full of the stuff. Combine that with the fact that we produce... Combine that with the fact that we produce our own objects. Object heads in town with locally gathered materials. And I'd, and I'd say you have a good explanation for this town's quirkiness. Some experts think it's to cut corners at the cost of public health, but oh no, it's way worse than that. This is why I swapped my old typewriter head for this ear monitor. Can't bug my head if I swap the parts out one by one each and every month, huh? So wait, what's the deal with the lead then? Oh, the lead. It's like a magnet for... Yeah, okay. You having trouble thinking up of something? Sorry, I thought someone else was listening in. Sure, sure. That's a that's a common trait with conspiracies. Uh people that um like like if you bring a point to them that clearly proves them wrong, then at least what I if it's I'm not sure if that's true, but that's what I would think that they would just typically try to avoid what you said. So, anywho, it's like a magnet for none other than Sasquatch. What? But Bigfoot? You know Bigfoot? How? What? What? You know all about him, yeah. Bigfoot's not conspiracy, though. It's, well, theory. It's all a well-guarded secret that Bigfoot lives near Dowtown. Yeah, but Bigfoot's not really conspiracy. It's just something we don't know if it's real. What I don't get is, why here of all places? Bigfoot's common instincts are supposed to make him periodically move around the whole country, which means the whole USA gets, in, gets to go and try and ca catch him. Mother Nature's egg hunt, you know? Oh, wow. But since Kellum's reign, and this year town's pulling all that lead out of the ground to make phone heads with, we fucked with the natural order and the magnetism of the earth. Ooh, okay. He's stuck here, you know? Wow. Huh. Say, do you know anything about Bigfoot? No, but I'd totally date him given the chance. Bruh! Well, if you happen to dig up anything useful in your search, I could always use another collaborator from my site. With all due respect, if I were to find Bigfoot, I'd simply kill my pants with excitement and then fall asleep. Sorry. That's fair, I guess. By the way, you think you're ever gonna get onto my site? Oh, I don't, I don't have a computer. You... What the hell is this? Laura Deer's lure. Okay. Oh, it's um it's on your yeah, it's on the screen. So maybe we want to scroll down a bit. Uh-huh. But are they forcing me to look at this? No, I left. Okay. So you've returned at last. How'd it go? They were bad they were, they were bat shit peer. They care not for love and try to use me in their various schemes. How ironic because that's what we've been trying to do. Yeah, your own medicine ain't too sweet, is it? Oh, yeah, that's just karma. Fuck you, my cough nectar is always sweet. Children's phone clothes made from the sweetest raspberry sweeteners. What? Uh, can't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, that's funny when someone gets a taste of their own medicine. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimate karma. Any of you need anything else? Uh, no, I'm satisfied. See you later. Okay, take care now. You hear? So what else is there to do? I mean, we completed the route last time already. I mean, is there anything? I mean, we did that before. Is there anything new at all? I mean, we've done everything else. I mean, I mean, the only thing I could, the only thing I could possibly think of is at least starting the next episode. It's already 40 minutes, just about. Um, I, I, only, I can only really think of is. You know, in the next episode, you know, I start, instead of the phone, I set up a new game, but instead of the phone, I, use a t I select a typewriter. Um, 
So yeah, I think that's about it, really. Let's go back to the outskirts, where I could save this in a new in a new slot. Apparently, we somehow sneak onto the subway. I don't know how you could do that, because I'm just saying. At least in the real world, um, it's kind of hard to get away with things. Um, where's the save? Saving it? Yes. Okay. So today I ate first original quote at the top of the. Sc oh. Hang on. Today I ate a bowl of porridge. Drank a bottle of Guinness. Well, tomorrow I might change up the order. Direct Dog Man. Is that his name now? Because that's where he. That's where he changed it. Like, how many times? Like it was Red Dog and then something else. Did he changed it again. I, I don't know if he changed, it, but anyways, I think I'm gonna end this episode of Dal Town here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. This video is late. Um, I was meant to record this yesterday, but my lazy ass didn't do it. I'm just basically telling the truth. I was lazy, so I was gonna do it. I thought to myself I was gonna do it. I didn't do it. I was too lazy to do it, but I've done it today. Um, so yeah, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Dial Town, please give it a like. I hope all of you have a fantastic rest of your day, night, afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. And I will see all of you very soon. Bye.